So we sing with the angels. you because you're mighty. I want you to say with me, say, Father, I receive the cleansing of my spirit, my heart, my soul and body by the blood. I receive forgiveness and I give forgiveness to all. I have come into your presence to fellowship with you this morning. And I receive from you as I do so in Jesus' mighty name. I want you to begin to talk to God in tongues right now. I'm going to talk to God in tongues right now. I'm going to talk to God in tongues right now. I'm going to talk to God in tongues right now. I'm going to talk to God in tongues right now. I'm going to talk to God in tongues right now. I'm going to talk to God in tongues right now. I'm going to talk to God in tongues right now. I'm going to talk to God in tongues right now. I'm going to talk to God in tongues right now. I'm going to talk to God in tongues right now. I'm going to talk to God in tongues right now. I'm going to talk to God in tongues right now. O raba bukoto ribi ke buske no aliano. O zafa kuto papu kuto ribi ke bukoto ribi ke bakalilo. Bakalilo, bakalilo, bakalilo. Raba kono fia kushuto chikati ya tuto filo ba. Emo kuto ngrama kiyata. Oh, Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you praise. Rika mamonzo tuta fiata rike no. Ma ba kian olu shovra ba kolus karia de tetoba rebeke bokuto rebeke bokuto viko kalia kalia. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we worship you, Lord. We give you praise. You are holy, worthy, and great. Thank you for your awesome presence and will. We appreciate you so much. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Glory to God. The move of God 
is here with us. And um, what is the move of God? Because God said to me, my move is here. He's been speaking that to me in my private time for some time, and I keep responding to it accordingly. But he's not saying my move is here. So he wants us to pray. Now, what is the move of God? The move of God is that God wants to be planted. Everyone that is born again is a child of God. And has Jesus Christ and us the hope of glory, the Holy Spirit and all of that. But God, the Father wants to be planted in the life of each one of his children. And planted there is talking about a relationship with the Holy Spirit. And I want us to pray on that this morning because it's really heavy in the heart of the Father in this season. And since he's saying it here, we need to pray that. So pray with me and say, Father, I accept your move in my life, that you are planted in my life as my companion and in deep intimacy with you in the name of Jesus. I also, Lord, allow your move through my life, that through me many will find you and have you planted in their life. Let's begin to pray that and the Holy Ghost right now. Meshufia pokonangia lo. Orede pe shufia to choku mama wa. Shambi apa. Arreka papu koto vrede ke meskoto. Ovia bede ke naliono kumbala. Reke papu koto vrede ke peskufia pokoluskiane. Anugo balamba paruko skufia pesketo shikalaya. Arya manoko umparuko shikati ato tofibe. Amigo bada mbakaliato. Bagaliato Rakamakutu Chofia Migubari, Oria Papukutu Ribike Pukutuskeni and Tendondo, Tendondo Papukutu Ribike Pukutu Via Masika, Araka Papukutu Ribike Pukutu Yome, Pepikutu Ribike Pukutu Rabocaliaso, Onti Kalia la Pombo Rukofia Pesketu Tunia, Rika Papukutu Ribike Puskofia Miketu, Araka Papukutu Ribi Engu Kubaka, Satya Bonumbe. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We're still going to pray in that line. Remember, yesterday, our study was about being witnesses unto this, our great God. He wants us to be witnesses. And what are we witnessing? We're witnessing about our salvation experience and our intimacy experience. Those are the two areas he wants us to witness for him. So say when he say, Father, I receive grace this morning to be a true witness of my salvation and intimacy with me, with you. Let your move, O oh God, fill the earth and Lord, move through me also. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray that in the Holy Ghost. <clears throat> move through me also, but let your move fill the earth. Oh God, move through me. Let your move fill the earth. A brocato tinaliando. Or recapapu kutu ribi kapukutu sine. A magadu ribi ambakatata and di kobaya. A ria babongo fia masaka mambo. Jape pekutu ribi kapukutu fia mekika. A zakapa pukutu ribi kapukutu viana. An inkumba. An inkumba. Jape ribi kapukutu via balusia. Seke pekua. Seke bikoa, seke bikoa, jabre bike bukutu vrema kan sukua, de kabia bukunomba. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Now I want to pray one more prayer. Because this move, you have to be a part of it. The Lord is telling me one of the reasons why I want you to lead this, because I want the people to be a part. It's a privilege, saints. It's a privilege. Pray with me and say, Father, I desire to be a part of your move. Use me in this, your new move, in the name of Jesus. Use everyone in the PhD family, the uh, Eloise Tabernacle family, everyone of his Revelation Outreach family. Use us, O oh God, in this new move mightily. 
in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray that in the Holy Ghost of Pakuna Neko Zepiro Zepiro Zabrike Bukotofia Manam Bobo Takedeko 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 Zape Pekano Fremi Ambassar Koto Sakapio Sakapio Jambe Penoma Jambe Penoma Jare and Rukofia Poskuluskeva Takapiko Takapiko Jambe Lamo Jambe Lamo Jabrike Bukoto Rike Poskutia Bolus Haba Dikemenko 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 Jape Picabo Jape Picabo Jabrike Bukoto Rike Masambo Lacabo 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 Jabrike Bukoto Rike Bukoton Semo Semia Pewa Semia Pewa Come Proboske de Gala in Jesus' mighty name we have. Great glory to God. Glory to God. Now we're going to pray the three blessings of the day. All right. And the blessing of open heavens. Because these are things that God has established for us. So pray with me as a father. And we see from you. Fresh message from you, oh Father. For me and my family members. I receive also the benefits you have for each of us today. At the expected end, let it be established according to your good thoughts towards us in Jesus' mighty name. Begin to pray this three in the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy on me and my family. Have mercy on my wife. Have mercy on my children. Have mercy on me. Laboko to fre esketko. Nakapia mosofia mokotaki luko. Tabibo, Jamba Arede, 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 Jamba Bukoto Vredica Massaton to Bo, Takipo, 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 Jamba Rebeca Bukuno Fiamma Lanzubo, Sake Tetico, Sate Tetico, Sate Tetico, Jamba Pena Macundu Kuluko, Aria Bukoto Rebeca Boscovia Manu, La Bello, La Bello. La belo, j'abre bika mosko probo shi tata, shi tata, shi tata, shi tata. La kama mosun fi mika babo, j'abre bika boko dovre bika beskale bo. Oh God, let the poru fi amasanga. Kapia bo, kapia bo, kapia bo. J'abre bika boko dovre mika manta. I receive the benefits of today for every single one of us. And this, that is, is the. Expected and established, oh God. I pray the same for all under this commission. Have mercy upon us, oh God. Let there be the manifestation of your benefits and the expected end in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. We're going to pray this prayer. God, before, okay, let's pray the destruction of the plans of the enemy first. Then before we pray, open up, open heavens. We'll do one more prayer on that move of God. Pray with me and say, Father, every agenda of Satan concerning me and my family members, Lord, today, let it be frustrated and destroyed. In the name of Jesus, let's begin to pray that. Ramatonto Lufinko, Sakia Picuma, Sakia Picuma, Sakia Picuma, Jabribike Bukutu Free Embassador, Takimiko, 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 Jabribike Bukutu Fina Malamba, Semiapo, 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 let it be frustrated, let it be destroyed, let it be frustrated, let it be destroyed, Lokomba Temiaman Muntumana, La Kufia Pesufia that one too, Takilubo. Takilibo, Takilibo, Jabri de Cabucutu from a Camazio, Sikapiabe, 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 Jabramo Cono from Atasubo, 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 Jape Picudu, Ribica Macala and Dodo, Langaba, 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 Jabri de Cabucutu, Ribica Pescovia Mono, Lucky Cabada. In Jesus' mighty name, we have great glory to God. Now you're going to pray. Father, the, 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 the prayer point is, God, use me mightily and make me one of the key 
vessels of this your new move. I am willing. I am open. Pray with me and say, Father, use me mightily in this new move and make me one of your key vessels in this new move. Use me in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray that the Pokunus command Begin to pray that. Pray that it will use you. Yes, in the move. Use you to finance your move. Use you to preach in the move. Use you, yes, to make waves in the move, to sing in the move, to stand in the move, to walk in the move, to, yes, innovate in the move. Use me, oh God, as your key vessels in the move. Use us, oh God. As your key vessels in the move, la pascania men kotokwa le bikabeo le bikabeo le bikabeo jambe en rukofia masaka papukwa tiam pinga na mo ta pika boko gabiaso gabiaso jabre bike boko do ribi amasar gudo ti kama ti kama ti kama ti kama ti kama jambe peko do vrebo kapaskufia ba in Jesus mighty name. We have prayed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Say with me, say, Father, I receive the covering of the blood of Jesus. And I declare at this moment that my heavens are opened. Angels are ascending and descending on my life in the name of Jesus. I bind principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world. Wicked spirits in heavenly places, Satan and all his demons, I bind them all. I disallow them in my realms and I declare my heavens remain opened. Angels are ascending with my matters and they are descending with solutions, answers, miracles, signs and wonders, supernatural events in my life, increase and abundance in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray that in the Holy Ghost. My heavens are opened. Angels are ascending and descending. My heavens are opened. Angels are ascending and descending. My heavens are opened. Angels are ascending and descending. My heavens are opened. Angels are ascending and descending. Joribika Bosco Viabolo Sadibo. Nekamilko. 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 Nekamilko, Jap Rebeka Boko do Rebeka Bosco Viamadoko, Likabo, 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 Elikabo, Elikabo, Jap Rebeka Bosco Via Pesco du Tour, Legabo, 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 Jap Rebeka Bosco Via Mazukata, Decatubo, 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 Jap Rebeka Boko do Rebeka Massano, Langado, Langado. Jamba to pray, Pescufia Masadida. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Glory to God. We give God the praise. We give God the honor. We give God the adoration. Lord, you are so, so, so good. Thank you for your faithfulness and your loving kindness and your tender mercies. We worship you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, we're going to pray. Still in the same uh, line, we're going to pray concerning our koinonia time. Because if God's going to use you in this mighty move, you have to be a participator in koinonia time. Koinonia time is one of the uh, uh, spiritual exercise that God is driving very hard in this end time to make it a part of the spiritual exercises that we are used to and we are we are practicing in the body of Christ. We have prayer time, we have retreat, we have fasting time, we have you know um, different spiritual exercise, you know, meditation and all of that. Praise God. You know, it's going to be also that there is a coin on your time. And that time is not just uh, any time for anything than that you come to just spend quality, consciously spending quality time with God to be with him, to fellowship with him and let him breathe on you. Is it that people have not been having koinonia time before now? They have, but they have not 
consciously focused it that this is God's time to build personal relationship with him. People have had study time, meditation time, and they see it as a time to equip themselves, to empower themselves, to make themselves powerful, carry anointing, you know. And those things, the teachings of meditation, reading of the Bible, and all of that are being shared more about receiving power from God and all that. It's all about just receiving something from God. Yes, in Koinonia time, you receive power <laughs> like you've never seen before. It's true. But the focus in going in there is not to receive power. It is to be with him and to fellowship with him. And while you are fellowshipping, because in their fellowship, Koinonia, they do three there are many things that I've done there, but three things, three things are very, very key. One, they have conversations together there. Yeah, they discuss matters and issues and they fellowship. Two, they share things together. They share their potencies, power. That's what the three of them that were in that fellowship before, four, the three of them were omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent, the three of them, because they share their potencies. So you come into that um, that company, and then they share their potencies with you too. Then number three thing that happens there is there's participation. Whatever involves everyone, everybody participates in it. And the reason why they can participate in everything that involves everyone is because they are omnipresent. <laughs> Glory to God, Hallelujah! And when you are there. They are involved in everything you are involved in, all right? They involve you also in all the things you are involved in through your spirit participating, all right? Getting involved. And in the areas they want you to specifically come in, they will tell you. They will push it to you. They will open it to you. They'll give you visions, revelations, insights. Oh, glory to God. What a fellowship to be in, all right? So pray with me and say, Father, I receive grace to be consistent in my koinonia time. I receive grace to have true intimacy, fellowship, discussion, sharing, participation with you in the koinonia time, in the name of Jesus. Do you know, pray that in the Holy Ghost. Jampia <laughs> Ariada Pambo Sovramo Shukutuski Tiapo, Arika Papo Kotovra Makatete, Orama Moshofia Pisco Via Boluscara. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You're going to pray for souls, everyone around you that are yet to be saved. Pray that God will visit them. Say with me, say, Father, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, everyone around me. Let your spirit be poured mightily upon all in the name of Jesus for salvation and for conversions to intimacy with God. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray that. Jamper Kotovri became a scofia mosoro, Lobaya, 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 Japre empecatovra on Scotushubo, Kikata Kiako, Kikata Kiako, Jambes and no fembariataco, Sakaria mosofim picodulu, Lakaika, 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 Cambus of Rimica Pesoria. In Jesus' mighty name, we. Glory to God. Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, 
Let's quickly pray for our nations and then we'll go into the world so we can round up on time today. Pray with me and say, Father, as your ecclesia, I declare over this nation, I disallow Satan, his will, his counsel, and his operations this week in Jesus' mighty name. I declare, I allow your will, your counsel, your kingdom to come in this nation and in this city this week. Let your will be done in the hearts of all leaders, both the secular, the public, and the private leaders, in the name of Jesus. Leaders in the public sector, leaders in the private sector. Yes, let your will stand in their hearts. Let your will prosper and be done. Let your will prevail in this city and this nation this week, in the name of Jesus. I agree with heaven that your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name. Begin to pray that in the Holy Ghost. He said, I look for a man to stand the gap and be in agreement with me for the land. Come on, you are the one in agreement. Allowing heaven to carry out his will. Your papa can be a Malaysia. Tumbele ba. Catch on fiam pesi to feel up. La kape kunu kuma. Kuma miyama. Kuma miyama. Jabrebi ke buku tohre makaba. Pray and believe. Yes, because... What will begin to happen is one way or the other. As they think, as they brainstorm, as they plan, as they scheme, the will of God will continue to shine in their hearts, in their minds, until they are carrying that out. And little by little, the will of God prevails in the land. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's give thanks unto him as we go into the word this morning. Let's give him thanks. Let's give him praise. He's worthy. Father, thank you. We worship you. We exalt you. You are so good. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your tender mercies. We honor you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Glory to God. Glory to God. All right, quickly, we just look at the message on um, the realms of silence, and which is what we are studying this month uh, of April, all Sundays of this month of April. We're studying about the realms of silence. Open our eyes to see, I pray again, our ears to hear and our hearts to understand you. Lead us into light, truth. Let the spirit of the word have your place in our hearts, in our being. In Jesus' mighty name. In Psalm 46, verse 10 and 11, he said, Be still and know that I am God. I'll be exalted among the Eden. I'll be exalted on the earth. One of the powers of silence is that it is in silence that you're able to hear the voice of God. All right? It's in silence. And we have said that uh, silence has to be, well, well, we have not said that anyway, but silence has to be in two dimensions. In fact, it should go into all dimensions. I'll mention all the dimensions, but two major dimensions. Silence outside, silence inside. When you are silent outside, that means you are not talking, and you are silent inside, all right, then the voice of God sends. The voice of God has sent. And it's because you have calmed down all the other noises and confusions so that you can be able to hear God clearly. Remember the voice that um, Elijah heard in 1 Kings chapter 19. There were all kind of noise. God was in there. Verse 12 precisely, uh, uh, 1 Kings 19 verse 12. After the earthquake, a fire. But God was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still small voice. Still small voice. So it shows very clearly that if you stay in the realms of noise, 
it may take a long time for you to be able to hear God clearly. You have to master how to enter the realms of silence. All right? So there has to be silence, silence outside, silence inside. And when we say silence inside, it has to go into all the realms inside. There must be silence in your spirit. That one is attainable because uh, you already have that silence there because of Christ and the Holy Spirit in your spirit. There must be silence in your heart. All right? The Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked, so who can know it? In Hebrews in chapter 4, verse 12, we talked about the heart as having thoughts and intents. So there are thoughts and intents running in the heart. All right? The Bible says that, um, I mean, it talks about our soul also, which has will, emotions, and our mind. The heart is here. The mind is here. So the heart has thoughts and intents. The mind also has thoughts. The emotions are working in there. All of them have to come to the realm of stillness. All right? They have to come to the realm of stillness. How do I bring all of them to stillness, to silence, so that God can speak? There's just one key to that. And that is total focus on God. And that's why when we talk about silence and stillness inside, it's not like the people in the a New Age religion do it. Where they do some chants and they talk about emptying yourself, emptying your thoughts, be open. All those things are basically to open you up to a devil. Because when the house is clean, a demon must come. Check the parable, I mean, check the statement of Jesus. When a demon is cast out from a house, all right, he goes through the waterless places seeking, you know, a place of abode. If he doesn't find, he goes to check the home where he was cast out from to find out if it is clean and empty. Now, if he finds it empty and clean, what does he do? He goes to get seven more wicked devils and then boom, they possess that person. So all these Eastern meditation that people try to get into. And they say, oh, it's harmless. It's just, um, you know, for relaxation. I beg to differ. Because I understand spiritual things and processes. And if certain things are there and you don't have secure signals, you are going to be exposed to satanic signals. It's a matter of time. It may not happen immediately, but it's going to happen. Why? Because when you empty yourself, something must spill it. And then what they are even telling you to chant, you don't know what that is hooking up to, what that is invoking, what that is drawing and calling in the spirit. You don't know. You're just told some, you know, syllables to chant, and you're chanting them. You don't understand what you're chanting. <laughs> Saints, you need to be careful. Believers need to be careful. Now, how do we attain stillness and silence inside? We believers, we focus on God. In the world, when you go for this big coaching and training stuff, they, they always talk about gratitude because they know that gratitude is one of the things that keeps the body in a state of uh, 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 body building, repair, and all of that, all right? Because the scripture already said, it, a merry heart do it good like medicine. It's like medicine. Body building, repair, and all that takes place when you are in that mood of gratitude. But when you are in the mood of ingratitude, you are not glad. God even said it to the Jews. He said, because you do not serve the Lord God with gladness of heart, you will serve your enemies. Why? Because when you keep the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the, the spirit and heart of ingratitude and you're not grateful for anything and you're in complaint and you're in murmuring and all of those things, they are actually, you know, when God was saying that he hates murmuring and he does, it's, it's for your good. It's because if, even if God doesn't judge the system that God has created on earth, both inside the man's body and around the man 
begins to fight the man. That's why God said, don't do it. Don't do it. Most of the causes, I believe they were just God telling us the consequence of the actions. Not that he was sincerely just intentionally cursing the people. He was just sincerely telling them, these are the consequences of this action. If you do not serve God with gladness of heart. Now, so they'll tell you, oh, I have gratitude. I'll be grateful. Oh, give thanks. Give thanks to who? To be grateful to who? Our own is not about just being grateful and just giving thanks. Our own, we give thanks to God. We are grateful to God. Yes, we show appreciation to men, but we are grateful to God. We show uh, gratitude to God. We give thanks to God. In the same way, when it comes to silence, we focus on God. I found out that in meditation, biblical meditation, you need to be silent. It's one of the, the uh, necessity for uh, meditation. And initially I was thinking, okay, what does it mean to be silent inside? Okay, you should not have any thought inside. They would say, no, it's not about not having any thought inside. It's about thinking on God. That's why David said, my meditation shall be on him. My meditation shall be about him. You understand? Your focus should be on him. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. Focus on him. Put your focus on him. That's, that's how to maintain silence. When you focus on him in worship and you are singing to him and you are ministering the words to him, after a while, all the other thoughts, they come down. You are sent above them and you are able to be still. That's when even the worship flows better. And then when you now come to that point where you want to be quiet in worship, your focus is still on him. And that's when you have quietness. Your mind is quiet. Your heart is quiet. Your emotions are quiet. Every one of them quiet. Why? Because you are focused on him. And when you are in that realm of quietness, his voice comes through. His voice comes through. So it's important for us to understand all of this. We can't get into, we can't, you know, it is lack of knowledge that's making people to practice things that are not of God. You understand? You must make sure your focus is on God. If your focus is on God, you cannot get a demon. But if you are just emptying your thoughts and emptying yourself, eh, something else may come in that is not God. Now, for the believer, it's going to be tough for a demon to enter your spirit because you already have the Holy Ghost and Christ in your spirit, but you can't become obsessed by demons. God forbid that for a child of God. All right? So let's understand these things and separate what they do from what the Bible teaches we do. We focus on God. We focus on God. Our own meditation is meditation in the Word. Yes. Even when you are meditating on God, you are meditating on thoughts of the scriptures about God. That's what it is. Yes. You know, because we teach about meditation on God, meditation in the word, meditation to access um, uh, divine secrets, uh, innovations and inventions. Even in meditation to access divine secrets, uh, inventions and innovations, they are still meditation on scriptures, but they are just meditation on scripture to access the treasure room, the storehouse, the bank of heaven, where they bank ideas, innovations, next things they want us to get, you know, to your have access. That's what it's all about. It's never, ever, 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 ever about emptying your thoughts and then you are not focusing on God. You are just opening up yourself up to the so-called universe. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> so, but basically what we are establishing today is that in the realm of silence, you are able to hear his voice. Because when you focus on him, and your heart is silent. Your mind is silent. Those two particularly, your emotions are silent. Then the voice of God comes clear. It comes clear. Because all the hindrances are taken away. I'll answer a thought. This might have come up in somebody's mind. That's why the Holy Spirit threw the thought to me. 
you know, because we pastors, we don't read people's mind. They always really tell us some things which are people's thoughts. Now, so how do I obtain that silent, silent, uh, uh, the silent position of the mind, the heart, and the emotions? I've said it. Focus on him. In worship, while you're worshiping, focus on him and let the words of the worship go to him. Mean it. Minister it to him consciously. After a while, all the emotions, boom. all the other thoughts in the heart, boom. all the other thoughts in the mind, boom. And then you come into that realm of plans. That's the realm of God. It's by focusing on him that you enter his own realm. If you're empty yourself, you can't enter his realm. You focus on him to enter his realm. And when you enter his realm, you will experience what Revelation said happened sometime in heaven where they said, there was silence in heaven for the space of 30 minutes. And then you will know in that place, there's so sweetness, sweetness. You yourself, you'll feel it. Sweetness. It's a sweet realm. All right? So it's important to enter that realm. When you are reading the Bible, focus on the Bible reading. Focus on wanting to know God. As it's revealed in the Bible, it will also push you into that realm. If you are in meditation, focus on that scripture you're meditating upon. And as you continue to think deeply on that scripture, because the word is God himself. As you're thinking deeply, a time comes, you enter into revelation of that scripture and you enter to that serenity. And as you are basking in that presence of that serenity and the revelation, you come to stillness. You will hear God. Yes, you will. When you're talking in tongues, focus on him and talk to him in tongues. Keep talking to him in tongues. Keep talking to him in tongues. Before you know it, you enter that realm of silence and stillness. And his voice comes clear. Then. Let us pray. Pray with me and say, Father, I receive grace. I receive understanding in the name of Jesus. And I ask that you would touch me and help me to always enter your realm of silence, your own realm of silence, so I can hear your voice clearly. In Jesus' name, amen. Pray in the Holy Ghost on that. As we round up this morning, we go for it and to Kupalia di Sikotosho, Oriana Mosufo Kataka Li Gumbet. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Can you say with me? Say, Father, I receive grace of focus on you. And I declare, I am focused on God. In worship, I'm focused. In meditation, I'm focused. In reading of scriptures, I'm focused. In all spiritual exercise, I am focused on God. And therefore, I have entered consistently his realm of silence and I've heard his voice in the name of Jesus. I am born of God. I have the nature of God. I am the righteousness of God. I am true holiness. I walk in purity. I do not sin. I am love. I walk in love. I am the blessed and power to prosper. I am the healthy, healed by the stripes of Jesus. I am the favored one, surrounded with favor as a shield. I am all that are mine. We are surrounded as a wall of fire by the Lord himself. So we are secured. We dwell in the secret place of the Most High, under the shadow of the Almighty. Today, I have gone out blessed. I have come out blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory to God. All right. We have it today. It's today. The throne room service is today. All right. And what is the throne room service? It's the service for those of us in West Africa. It is a service after service. <laughs> All right. It's, it's one place. It's a podcast where you learn about intimacy with God and where you learn the principles and keys of the kingdom. I want to encourage you to be a part of this special broadcast and invite everyone you know to be a part. All right? 
tell them this is a platform where you are going to learn a lot and you're going to build serious close relationship with god and here we don't sermonize we share key kingdom principles and how to practically apply them in our life here on earth as we walk towards glory in heaven all right that's what throne room is all about you know and you will hear people's stories on intimacy on throne room it's going to be awesome so today in west africa it's 2 p.m and it's going to be 2 p.m every sunday and we're streaming on youtube paul or Lashore on youtube that's where we're streaming so look out for it just on youtube we're not streaming on instagram just on youtube and it's 9 a.m easter time for those in north america all right building personal intimacy with god throne room make sure you join us today don't miss it for any reason tell your friends tell family get behind your tv put on put it on the youtube and then search for the channel paul Lajuri, and get ready 2 p.m west african time nigerian time all right and then those of us in north america 9 a.m we call it the first service here in north america so that's your first service so get in there get into that podcast grow increase you know mature in god you know learn from others because a lot of people are coming with their beautiful experiences in god you know it's 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 going to stay in the atmosphere for you to also have your own encounters upon encounters upon encounters so make sure you're a part of this special broadcast and i pray the almighty will strengthen you in jesus mighty name i'm going to pray over your offering all right if you're giving this morning is revelation our permission that's how you give in naira and um, if you're giving a prophet seed you have the account there down and if you're giving outside nigeria use paypal dot me forward slash elohim sca all right if you don't have paypal scan the qr code and then um it will take you to a paypal platform where you can use a debit or a credit card all right if you're using the same phone all you need to do is screenshot you know that place and then send it to another phone then use the phone that reads the qr code to read it and then you'll be able to um give through that father we ask that you bless our seeds let them be a sweet smelling sour to you and let them be used to advance your kingdom every giver be blessed be empowered be strengthened every giver of tithe let your tithe be acceptable to the father and the high priest jesus christ and we declare your land blessed blessing poured upon you mightily from heaven and the enlightenment of your coast in Jesus' mighty name. The devourer is rebuked for your sake. You prosper and excel. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right. With that, we are going to be closing on PhD this morning. See you again tomorrow morning at 5.30. Don't forget to be a part of the throne room. It's going to be an awesome, an awesome, an awesome session. It's just one hour, a beautiful session in God's presence. Shalom, shalom.